I am so, so excited for this one. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely insane. Keep it going right now. Keep those hands clapping for Brady the Death on Ryan Fregrano. <laughs> We definitely discussed that. Uh, <laughs> sure. So, uh, dur during her first year of college, Brittany worked as a stripper to pay tuition. And after working hard every day for a year, finally she was able to quit going to college. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm really glad we can both pretend to be Mexican tonight. <laughs> I actually grew out my bush so we could have matching hairstyles. <laughs> Wyatt, you look like your shower drain has its own ecosystem and tech support. <laughs> uh, so I heard that in, in one of your past battles, Brittany, you were kind of offended because somebody, like I guess, implied that you're a whore. Um, so here we go. Uh, <laughs> Brittany is such a giant cum slut. <laughs> She's such a big slut that in the early 2000s, all her classmates used to call her Free Britney. <laughs> Wyatt, I'm a whore. You were just an inspiring whore. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Super. Oh, I know. Uh, Wyatt's what happens when you feed an Indian kid too much tikka masala from Trader Joe's. <laughs> He says he's 97% Indian. The most Indian thing about Wyatt is he spells Wyatt using AT&T. <laughs> nice. That was a pretty good one, Dora the ex-porn star. <laughs> Brittany works for her father's company, Chatterbait. <laughs> Brittany does work for her father's company, and she used to be a stripper. Uh, you know, she always just likes to call her boss daddy. <laughs> Thank you, intravenous AIDS giver. <laughs> Wyatt says he looks like Jesus. Um, we all decided Jesus was hot, you ugly, unhoused looking ass piece of shit. <laughs> you look like if Jesus turned water into roofied drinks <laughs> and washed women's feet to jerk off to it after. <laughs> okay, uh, Brittany is dyslexic and she has PTSD, but she's dyslexic. So I think she means STDs. <laughs> of course, Brittany, uh, you know, will tell you that she and I, we've never slept together, of course, because I don't book anything. And <laughs> there we go. Thank you, reverse dole is all. Okay. Uh, Your what? jokes are good, but not the comebacks. Can you <laughs> shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wyatt went to NYU. His parents were proud. They achieved the all-American dream once he started getting accusations. Uh, he studied dramatic writing. Hey, use your degree to write a suicide note. Last joke. Okay. Brittany, Brittany is bisexual. Uh, you know, she's mostly a lesbian, but she still does fuck guys when she needs money. Thank you, Alibaba Prince. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny on the cock. <laughs> Thank you, Gen Z Night Stalker. <laughs> Wyatt, uh, Wyatt took a while to send me his info, so I ended up doing some research. I found a Reddit thread where he gives advice on stand-up comedy. <laughs> oh, is that true? Yeah, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go on Reddit and find it, bitch? <laughs> I also found another one where he tells you which household items you can fuck. First being your sister's scrunchie, the last being the household cat. <laughs> this is not a race thing, but both of you stay away from me. <laughs> Give it up for these two, everyone. I've ever seen you still called the homeless unhoused. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Dan Wicks, what do you think of this fight? I think I got everything I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is awesome. I knew you guys would be mean to each other, and you were. <laughs> I was, yeah, that was awesome. I loved it. Um, yeah, this is. I think it was really close. I, uh, I think I'm just by a hair. I'm gonna give it to Brittany, but great job, guys. Right. One for Brittany, Eric Asper. 
guys seemed so surprised that you were being mean to each other. <laughs> uh, there seemed like there were some real feelings going on in that battle. Uh, Brittany, Brittany looks like like she wouldn't help you plan a bachelorette party, but then she'd show up and have a lot of notes, you know? <laughs> and then Wyatt looks like what comes out of a magic lamp. If you like rub it, he like comes out and grants you three STDs, you know? <laughs> It was really close, dude. I I think I gotta give it to Brittany for the AT and T show. Gotta say, yeah. All right, two for Brittany for the banger, Divya. Yeah, this battle was uh, rightfully last because it was so good and also so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Brittany, at the end, you just got to the point where you just seemed like a teen mom, angry that she didn't abort the kid she's <laughs> Um Wyatt, I think it's crazy that you're Indian. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look like you were specifically bred to be able to say any racial slur. <laughs> I thought you were both great, uh, both scary, uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm also going to give it to Brittany. Brittany's got it wrapped up. Derek, what do you think? Oh, man, what a great way to end. I mean, this, this battle is like, I think, everything like, I think Fox News looks for. So, uh, just two minorities just going at it. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I, I kind of want to vote for Wyatt's jokes, but Brittany's vibe. Um, I felt like she embodied the spirit a little bit more, but man, what a great battle. I'm going to give it to Wyatt just because nobody else would. So. <laughs> All right, Brittany won.